assassins. Death itself encased in an iron shell. Flee! Gentlemen, flee! While there is still time! There. You are no longer in danger. Lydia? Are you the one who has released me from this nightmare? But how? Did your master send you? My name is not Lydia, monsieur. I am called Aegis, and I serve only the Queen. Oh. A poor enfant. Lydia. Aegis. And yet I fear that you are neither. It is of no importance, monsieur. I have a mission to accomplish. Where is Monsieur de Vaucanson hiding? Oh, he is hiding, as you say, in a cell in the Bastille prison. Shackled hand and foot. That is how our good king has decided to reward his most faithful servant. As for you, my child, I can't be sure, but I think there is a truth you must uncover. Find your way to Monsieur de Vaucanson's home. It is in the Faubourg Saint-Germain, east of the Invalide. Here is the key to the gate. When we meet again, we will have the answers we seek. Your colleague, Monsieur Lavoisier, do you know where he is? He went to the Palais de Luxembourg, despite the danger. Why? He hoped to convince the Comte de Provence to speak to his brother, the King, and have Eugène de Vaucanson released from prison. But he hasn't been seen since nor given any sign of life. Your colleague, Monsieur Lavoisier, do you know... He went to the Palais de Luxembourg. Why? He hoped to and have... But he hasn't... What did you see and hear before you regained consciousness? I... I don't know how to describe it. A vrai dire, I was in a sinister and icy place. Et puis, ah, it's all a blur. A poisonous feeling of destructive power. Somewhere between a dream and reality, orders whispered in my ear. Poor, terrified people falling at my hand. I don't know if I was given some powerful drug, or if my mind was truly lost in the ether. If this is the case, the phenomenon should be studied. But can it be reproduced? For now, I will attempt to reach the safe haven where those who oppose the king swore to gather, in hopes that any of them escaped the massacre. <laughs>